In an Oxfordshire field just 30 miles from Reading, there's a light 10 billion times the power of the sun. This is Diamond Light Source, a huge donut-shaped particle accelerator in which electrons whiz around close to the speed of light. This produces highly penetrating X-ray beams which allow scientists to study materials in incredible detail. In 2017, the University of Reading co-established a new soft X-ray beam line at Diamond called Versox, which is opening up a wealth of new possibilities for both industry and academic scientists. So, so Versox was a, a beam line that was uh, proposed in 2011-2012 uh, uh, by a group of scientists, including myself. And then in uh, 2012 it was approved as a project and it took about five years of, of planning and uh, construction and in 2017 we had our first user and ever since in the last year and a half we had about 30 user groups from very different backgrounds starting from electronic devices um, one group looking at atmospheric chemistry, but the majority of groups really are interested in uh, researching uh, catalytic problems. One of these users is Tigse Aralt Erdan from the global science and chemicals company Johnson Mathy. So we are looking at some uh, catalysts on the reaction conditions and we are trying to understand how the surface chemistry of the catalyst is changing. Under the conditions. Tigse is using the Versox beamline to better understand and improve Johnson Matthey's catalysts, such as those found in catalytic converters to reduce emissions from cars or in batteries. She told us what makes the Versox beamline one of a kind. But I think the uniqueness of the station is you can work with more realistic gas environments, I would say, close to the industrial uh, gas mixtures and so on. For example, NO is something that you can't find at all the stations, or CO, for example. You can also struggle because these are toxic gases, you have a different uh, setup. I think Versox is quite uh, yeah, versatile in that sense. Tigse has had a long-standing relationship with the University of Reading. Uh, I have been collaborating with Reading University uh, for almost five years now and we have been learning uh, a lot uh, about new characterization techniques uh, that are used at Reading University and uh, Johnson Methy has very complex materials. We wanted to apply these techniques on Johnson Methy, Johnson Methy's uh, materials and I think it's also helping the academics in, in the sense that they are using these very academic type of techniques on very complex materials that are industrially relevant. 